So to do the cr single crochet, we're going to start with our slip knot and a chain, which you can learn from my previous video on how to make a chain. But we're going to chain 15. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now your first row of anything is usually the most tedious, so don't get discouraged by this. Um, it gets easier as we go along and do multiple rows, but we've got to do this foundation chain We've got to work on this foundation chain first. So what we're going to want to do is put our hook back into our work. So we're going back now this direction. We're going along the chain backwards to make our first row of single crochet. And there are a lot of places you can put your hook and there are a lot of places that different instructions will tell you to do. What I'm going to encourage you to do is turn your chain over. So here's the top of the chain, the front of the chain. I'm going to encourage you to turn it over and look on the back and you will see these fairly distinct bumps of yarn. And I'm going to have you put your hook in the very first bump. So it's a little tedious to start. That's okay. Use your fingernail, your other hand, whatever you need to do to get in under that first bump. And you're going to wrap your yarn around once, just like you were chaining. Wrap it around once and just pull it through that loop you made with the bump. And now you're going to have two loops on your hook and you're going to wrap your yarn around one time and pull through both loops on your hook. So I'm going to go do this again. I'm going to do it all the way across. I've looked for the next bump. We're on the back of the crochet chain where there are little bumps of yarn sticking up. If you can see that, these little bumps. I'm going to put my hook through the bump. I'm going to hook onto the yarn and pull it through so that I have two loops on my hook now. I'm going to wrap the yarn again and pull it through both loops. And you're going to want to do this as relaxed as possible. Go into the next one. Hook your yarn and pull it through. Wrap your yarn around and pull it through the two loops on the hook. Next one, we're just going down the line. Into the next bump. Grab your yarn and pull it through. Wrap your yarn and pull it through two loops. We're just going on down the line. If you need to stop and start over and pull out your work, there's nothing wrong with that. Get used to doing that. Get comfortable with doing that. It's part of the process. It's how we learn and you'll do it your entire crochet life. <laughs> And we're just working on the foundation chain. We're making a row of single crochets back along that foundation chain. Into the next bump. Some of them are a little tedious. You're gonna hook the yarn, pull it through, so you have two loops on your hook, you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook and pull it through 
the two loops on the hook. Into the next bump, grab your yarn, pull it through, wrap your yarn around once, and if you need to hold your work down, like I'm putting a lot of tension on this to pull it down so that I've got room to slide this work through. If you're finding that you're really struggling to get through, loosen things up, loosen your hands, loosen your yarn, relax. Don't try to fight it. If you're if if things are really tight right here, loosen up. Give yourself some more yarn. And pull down on your work with your yarn hand so that you've got room to pull through. If it's still tight, just loosen everything up some more. Loosen up your hands. Loosen up your work. Don't cramp your hands. I tend to be a kind of a tight crocheter, so I say this a lot to remind myself, but when you're learning, I think um, people tend to be really loose or really tight with their stitches. Find a medium ground that is just comfortable and enjoyable for you. You should be able to go nice and smooth, as slowly as you need to. And remember that we chained 15. And as we go back with the single crochets along this, chain, this foundation chain and we go back to the end, you're going to have 14 bumps. You had 15 chains, but you're going back. There are 14 bumps, so there are 14 single crochets in your work now. So when you start to read directions, you'll notice that you'll be chaining typically one more than you're going to be working into from that point on. So we chained 15 and out of that we got 14 single crochets. Now that we're at the end of our row, if it looks a little wonky, if you really don't like it, Pull it out, try it again, there's nothing wrong with that. But if, you, if you're good, you want to keep going, just kind of stretch it out, pull it out. It'll look a little curly maybe, that's fine. Now we're at the end of the row and we're just going to make a chain. One chain. And then we're going to turn our work around and go to the next row. And this is where it gets a little easier. You're, you're done with the hardest part of this. From here on out, we are just going to go row after row of single crochet in our little sample. So What we've done is make a chain that makes it easier to turn. So now you have a loop on your hook and then you have very first stitch is just to the left of that. So if you look at your piece of crochet, you have, if you look at the top of your piece, you have what looks like a set of chains sitting on the top and what you're going to want to do is let me get you a better look here where you're going to be putting your hook is underneath each of these chains so you've got a front loop and a back loop of each chain and you're going to want to go underneath both of those you're going to start with the first one and you're going to be going underneath that I'll put my hook in in a second. I just want to show you where that you're going to be putting your hook. OK. 
Okay. So, putting my hook back into my, my loop where it belongs. And I'm going into the first stitch, I'm going underneath the front and the back loop. And now I'm just making a single crochet. I'm hooking the yarn, pulling it through. I have two loops on my hook. I'm wrapping the yarn and pulling it through both loops. Single crochet done. Go to the next one. You're going to go underneath that chain. You're going to grab the yarn, pull it through, and then you're going to wrap your yarn again and pull it through two loops. Next one, you're going to go underneath the top two loops of that chain, grab your yarn and pull it through, wrap your yarn, pull it through. Remember to relax so your stitches aren't too tight and you're not struggling. Next one, relax. Now this is where not being too tight with your work helps because you want to be able to get in under those stitches. I have one stitch here that's a little tighter than the other so I'm just going to kind of wiggle my uh, hook in there. Hook the yarn and pull it through. Yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook. Next one insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, and pull through two loops on the hook. Next one, insert the hook, grab the yarn and pull it through, relax your hands, yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook. And we're going to just continue this all the way to the end. And this is a single crochet. Very, very common crochet stitch. Now that you know how to make this, you can make quite a few things. You'll want to start with something like a pot holder or a placemat or a scarf because you're just going to go and go and go row after row until your item is as big as you want it to be. You don't need any other fancy stitches to create all of those things. Just knowing this you can create a lot of things and you can get really creative with the kinds of yarn that you use without even having to learn any new stitches. So I'm almost at the end, or I'm at the end. I've got one stitch left. Same thing, no different. I'm gonna insert my hook, make my single crochet. I'm gonna chain one, and I'm gonna turn my work. Oh, I've done two rows of single crochet, and I can keep going as long as I need to. I'm going to find, you know, looking at the top of your work, you see this, what looks like chain stitches now. There's a front and a back loop to everything on the top, and I'm just going to go underneath both of them in the very first one and start my single crochets. into the next, etc., etc. And if you don't like how it's looking, pull it out and start over. There's nothing wrong with that. But I encourage you to enjoy this process and just go, go crazy. Make a hundred rows of this. Just relax, watch a movie, and practice 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 it'll get easier it'll get faster it'll get more even
and eventually you'll be able to do it without even looking but don't worry about any of that just practice and enjoy it and relax relax your hands remember when you get to the end of a row you're going to chain one and turn your work and do it all over again and you know you've gotten to the end when in our case we have 14 if you end up with less than 14 it means you've skipped something along the way or you didn't go all the way to the end or you didn't start all the way at the beginning and that's okay that's like really common when you're first learning it's totally fine let me show you how to count those So we've got our very first stitch here. You can kind of see, if you look at the, you look at the top, you can see your, your chain at the top. Count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I am on the thirteenth. And I should have one more left, and I do, so that's good. If you've missed one somewhere, you're going to end up having jagged edges, and your work is going to get smaller and smaller as you go around, uh, go to different rows. It'll start looking like a triangle instead of a square or a rectangle. It's fine, it happens to everybody. Um, not just when you're beginning it it just happens but this is a good small this but this is a good small swatch to uh, to show you this on because we don't have to count very high <laughs> so if you have less than 14 in our little swatch you have not gone to the end of one of your rows or you didn't start at the very beginning Make sure you've got 14. If you don't, just pull it out. Take a deep breath, no big deal. Just pull it out, start over. You can pull it part of the way out, like back to the beginning of this row, or you can pull all the way out, all the way down to the slip knot if you want. Don't be afraid to pull things out and start over. It doesn't hurt. Nobody died. It's fine. Just pull it out and start over. Hi, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for watching. I'm adding new videos at least once a week, so I'd love it if you'd like and subscribe so you don't miss anything. See you next time. Bye.